Hi, I'm Jack Kuso, and today we're going to be looking at some 2021 Bakugan product from the new season Geogon Rising. Oh, Spin Master sent me a lot of this stuff, so I'm really excited to take a look at it and see what we've got. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you're not familiar with the reboot, there's a ton of stuff coming, so buckle up. Okay, here we are, 2021 Bakugan. I'm just gonna tear into all of these and then show them off one by one so we don't waste too much time. Let's go. Hey, so apparently only a very small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed to my channel. Which is crazy, because it's totally free, it tells you every time I upload a new video, and it helps my channel grow more than anything else. Back to the video. Okay, here we are, I've got everyone open, I've got all the guns uh, arranged on the side, and we're just gonna go one by one and show you what the next season has to offer, starting with this Aquas Sharktar. Where's cores? Yeah, no one cares about the cores, uh, except for this one, which is actually a Pyrus uh, Aquas Plus 400 core, which is a brand new type of core. It's very exciting. Uh, Bakugan Brawl! Aqua's Core Shark Tower, 500 B power, 6 damage, and draw 1 on Victor, uh, Shield Green Fist. Pretty basic Aqua's Bakugan, nothing too crazy, Victor effects unfortunately suck, that just means if you win a, a battle you get that extra effect, and in this case that is drawing a card. As far as design goes, it's uh, pretty neat. This is the, one of the, the the first like real aquatic Bakugan of the reboot, so I, it's very exciting to see uh, a, a Shark Boy. Uh, <laughs> but will we get a Lava Girl this season? He also comes with a gate card, all core singles come with, uh, gate cards now. But like the five packs and stuff also come with gate cards, which is pretty exciting. Unfortunately, not a new set. We're gonna be looking at this guy here, Slugler, which is probably the ugliest of, uh, <laughs> the Geogon in my opinion, because it doesn't even make a nice pretty geometric shape like uh, you'll see with uh, these other guys. Mutasect and Stardox, with Mutasect, Mutasect being an egg and Stardox being this uh, Pentagon Pyramid. Uh, these are a lot like Trap Bakugan, but you use them as a reroll card and you drop it onto a core, you drop it on the Hide Matrix. Let's get this very uh, difficult skill challenge. Yeah, there we go. It's about a core length up. That was on purpose as a joke that I failed it. There we go, freaking Slugler. Look at him. I really like the idea of Slugler. He's uh, he's basically a Shoggoth. He's just like a goo boy, gooping around. Uh, he's two cost energy, 500 B power, uh, and shadow strike, and plus 900 on a helix, uh, which is actually <laughs> quite good. That's really good. They're saying this might be one of the better Geogon uh, that, that's being released. Is it already broken? How does this work? Go in. Stay. Okay, there we go. That was just, that was user error. And Geogon, go! Riveting. Moving on. Uh, we got some Diamond Bakugan. Let's go Aquas first, because I think this is just another Shark Tar. Yeah, it is. It's just a Diamond Shark Tar. Diamond Evo is a 7 cost, 1200 B, Victor draw 3 as opposed to only the draw 1 of the core uh, version, and 7 damage. Beautiful, beautiful looking Bakugan though. I love diamonds, they are consistently amazing. This girl is a core Fenica. Bada boom, bada boom. Oh no, it comes with the wrong Evo card. What's the character card? Uh, Fenica is a 700 B power and 1 damage. Uh, Green Fist, Fire Fist. Look at her though, she's so cute. She's a nice little Fennec Fox carbuncle combo, uh, which is what I usually order at Taco Bell. This Evo card that it comes with is a Hyper Demork Ultra. The two cost uh, Evo card, not even a Diamond Evo. Woo! No! <laughs> it's actually really hard to roll straight. Really, Thalcron? And, whoa, it is hard. Yo! Is that just the diamond, or...? I don't know, the Ventus uh, Ultra, the regular one that we have, is uh, a little difficult. 
Also hard on the normal, so it's not just a diamond thing. I've got a lot of flaps and panels. The same could be said about me. Okay, there we go. Doesn't flip easy. Ventus Falcron Ultra, 700 B power, three damage, magic shield, fire fist. So that's a 1350 on a magic shield. There's a lot of variety in paint on this one. It's got this paint color, that paint color, that paint color, that paint color. A lot of variety. Let me get a little bit more force on it, see if I can get it to flip. Okay, yeah, okay, he will flip. He uh, doesn't have a weak magnet or anything. You just gotta, you gotta finesse your Falcron Ultra. Ah! <laughs> okay, I guess that's, it's, it's been gobbled by the gobbler. <laughs> that's you now. Uh, let's move on to this, this, this many, this, this big pack that comes with a whole, with, um, th th three Pyres and Darkest Bakugan that I like, and then some Geogon. Um, <laughs> I like the toys. I do like Geogon toys. I, I, they, I, they, they left a bad taste in my mouth, uh, because of the way they play in the game, because I'd rather the, the toys not be required for the TCG, but it's not the end of the world as long as they don't get carried away with it. Uh, I don't know what Bakugan this is. Most people who are afraid of Geogon seem more worried about what it might mean. Exactly, it's more about what happens if they start introducing more and more and more of these. But actually, the toys I like even uh, way better than Trap Bakugan. Uh, let's roll this, I don't know what this is. Ah, uh, that is a Core Falcron, 700 B power, 1 damage, uh, double Helix, Pyrus. The card art looks really, really cool too. Oh, that's actually really, he looks like Rodan from Godzilla King of Monsters. Just hopping out of the volcano and, and raining destruction on a very large plane. The, uh, the rest of the part wasn't in the card art, but core rolling isn't uh, overly spectacular looking. Let's roll this Darkest. I think this is uh, a new Darkest core Dragonoid. Whoa, his ball form feels really loose. Look at that. You can hear it clacking. Really loose. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, jinkies, that's not promising. Let's try again. Oh, yo! No, it's really just not grabbing. Oh, that's a weak magnet. Yo! Maybe this one's just busted. I'm gonna have to check to see if other people's cores. He look- okay, that's actually really cool. He reminds me a little bit of Cyborg Helios, weirdly. 600 B power, uh, 3 damage, and on Victor you search or scan or what is that? What is the magnifying glass card effect? It's a new effect. I don't know what it does. I'll put the text on screen for what this new symbol means. They need to put a reminder text on this new, on these new mechanics. I think we got another Fennica here. Oops. Oops, she's shy. Oh, come <laughs> on. There she goes. Let's try that again. Fennica, take two. Oh no! She shows she's so shy. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. oh. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> you gained one trust. <laughs> it's like that one vine. All right, you got this, Travis. Make him wait for it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because this whole front flap lifts open like a, like a, like a face change Power Rangers toy or something. It's got like a weird delay in the mechanics. That is... <laughs> That's, oh, that's better man. than the way they actually are. That's so good. 300 B power uh, plus 500 on a fire fist. Five damage. I love the art. I love the mist. I love the, the weird like purple like tendrils popping around the ground and the glow on the green. It's Geogon time. Let's look at Mutasect. Uh, I refuse to drop this because I'm worried if I drop it, I'm going to break it. So let's give, let's give it a roll. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mutasect. Mutasect, three cost Geogon card, 1100 B power, four damage on a Fire Fist, and plus 200 B and Shadow Strike on a Helix. Eight damage native. Uh, he's freaking got hands. Look at his like punchy fists. He's like a rock'em sock'em robot. Like, look at that. He's gonna go toe to toe with Dragonite Dreadrus. He doesn't really look much like a bug at all. Uh, in his, his, like, Bakugan form. He just looks like a big, like, what is it, Nui Jaga? Or is it Kofo Jaga that were the punchy ones? Yeah, it looks like a mix of, like, a, a Nui Rama and a Kofo Jaga. Really appealing to a very sort of cross-section between Bionicle fans and, uh, Bakugan fans, which is, I think, just a circle. <laughs> uh, let's actually drop it and see how it pops open. Like, will it actually grab a core? I guess so. Beautiful. Uh, Stardox time. Uh, let's, let's roll it. 
Roll out. Whoop. Two card lengths away. Boom. That was crazy. That's easier than rolling a normal Bakugan. Why do you have to drop these things? You can just roll them. What? Why? Why do they make? Why do they make you drop them? You can just roll them like any other Bakugan. What the heck? Let's let's roll a Sluggler. Oh no! I don't think you can roll a Sluggler. No, Sluggler got spikes. Oh, let me try sideways. Okay, sideways works. <laughs> I always love the pyramid trap Bakugan because you can just spin them, and this is no this is no exception. Spin to win Bakugan, Arliss Stardox, beautiful gold coloration. Uh, it it just, it's gorgeous looking with it with his big eye. That he reminds me of some kaiju that I can't quite place. Two energy cost, eight hundred B power, plus six hundred if you're on a green fist. That's interesting. Doesn't make him as good as Slugler, uh, but he only takes a green fist. Uh, plus six damage on a shield and four damage native. Uh, it's more obvious on Mutasect than on Stardox, but these these black parts on Stardox are sort of semi semi transparent, so you can see some of the gold shining through. Last but not least, we have a starter deck. Uh, so first up, we have a blue one. I think this is an Aquas Falcron. Yeah. Another Aquas Falcron, 500B, 4 damage, Green Fist, Green Fist. I love how all of the Falcrons really emphasize the tertiary colors. That's interesting. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this Bakugan for last. I'm not gonna tell you why. Maybe you can already tell looking at it what it resembles. This is not what you would expect from Shark Tar. Uh, unless you really paid attention to the character art, because gosh, he just looks like a shark in his core form. But this is not just a shark, this is Street Sharks! Sit down and shut up, it's Street Sharks! 600 B power, 5 damage, magic shield shield, but that's not the point. The point is he's got legs! Can he chomp? Oh, can he? Munch! <laughs> People have been begging for a shark Bakugan uh, ever since the, like, the reboot started. People have been posting along like, make a shark Bakugan. We want to see a shark Bakugan. And look what your folly has wrought. And then Spin Master was like, oh, we'll give you a shark Bakugan, but he's gonna have legs. What do you call a fish furry? That's not, or what do you call a shark furry? Because they don't have scales. Would it be like a, a gilly? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna roll out this next Bakugan. Uh, here we go. Wow. If you're, <laughs> if you're here for my, Weirdest Bakugan video. It's for Askel! Kubo 2! Ah! Oh my gosh, it's ears closed. It's just like a Zubal. If their eyes weren't so huge, if their eyes weren't like these massive, like little glowing orbs or whatever to make it look more like the toy, I would like it because I like the cat. I like that it's a cat. 400 B power plus 400 on a magic shield, making it a 1450 uh, base, uh, and then four damage magic shield shield. Uh, not not egregious. You could fit this on a team. 1450 still still a pretty good stat. Um, oh man, it really falls over. There's also something very new that's coming out, is a Farascal Ultra, which you might think wouldn't have the Zubli design. But it does. It looks similar, but it's an ultra, which is concerning. Uh, I will will freaking see how that goes. And this is, of course, anyway, uh, these Bakugan are with a, a starter deck. Uh, so there's a bunch of new cards, which I am not going to go over elaborately in this, but I may uh, show them on screen, uh, which uh, Serena Harumi uh, did in her uh, unboxing of a starter deck, and I, hopefully she doesn't mind if I basically rip off that idea. So if you're interested in what this starter deck contains, you can give that a look uh, and see what uh, some of the new stuff is in store from the Secrets of the Geogon set. And also, freaking check out Serena's video, and she does a really good job at, uh, at just like running through everything without wasting your time. Speaking of wasting your time, I should stop doing that uh, and go ahead and give a big thank you so much to my Patreon supporters, Shevitas, 
to One Only Prime, Baron OC, and Sierra 107 for supporting my channel on Patreon, and a massive thanks to some of my new Patreon supporters that I haven't yet thanked. So thank you to Trouble, uh, Jedi Master, Nicholas Matrix, and Chell for supporting me on Patreon. We are almost to $100 a month on Patreon, and once we hit $100 a month, I am contractually obligated to create Awesome Bakugan Trick Shots 3. Awesome Bakugan Trick Shots was the first video I ever put on YouTube, uh, and I'm so excited to potentially do another one. I've got so many awesome trick shots planned, uh, all using brand new Bakugan. So go to the Patreon. I would love it if you would help support my content and help me produce uh, that video and more that I love. I actually have a whole bunch of new people watching the channel, and I have no idea where everyone was coming from. So if you could post a comment down below saying how you ended up finding this channel, uh, I would love to get some of that feedback and know you know, uh, and know who what my new audience is and what kind of stuff you guys are hoping for. So thank you so much for watching. This is Jet Kuso, and I'll see you next time. Huh!